Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to Mary's Mystic Wisdom Tarot. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, welcome. We're all about the white light and Archangel Michael there. First, I'd like to pull a Keepers of the Light for us to bless this reading. And then we'll get right into the Tarot. And we always pull a Romance Angel to clarify everything, but I'm so excited for you, Virgo. What a rare month for you. I think this is gonna turn into a love reading because, wow, I think uh, also with the solar eclipse coming up on Christmas day, it's gonna bring a lot of new love, unexpected surprises, but let's grab Keepers of the Light. Please join us. We'd like only white light to join us for the Virgo Collective. Thank you. Who would like to come out? Ooh, I haven't seen this guy for a while. Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Wow. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Miraculous changes are occurring. You guys, this is big time, okay? Uh, put out your intentions and stay positive and focused because, sorry, I have my little shells I got from Playa de Carmen. They're actually tree shells. And I do use this for doing some of my healing work that I do. So let's set that aside and get the tarot going. Yeah, I mean, you guys have six heavenly planets uh, all merging uh, at once for you so we got pluto and saturn and jupiter and venus the sun and new moon eclipse all crowded into capricorn it's your fifth house of what true love and you deserve all of these blessings so we're calling in the collective spirit guides for virgo please give us the messages that they need to move forward this month december 2019 thank you holy spirit thank you archangel michael and Horus Gateway, yay. Guys may ha be having an awakening as well. I mean, it's almost like every wish can come true. And that's so crazy. I just said wish come true. This is my, you know, waiting for your ship to come in, three of wands. And see that beautiful seagull up there? It's like Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I don't know if you kids know that, but um, yeah, very spiritual time for you, an awakening. It's like, yes, you've done the work and you so deserve it. The love of the universe is shining on you. Jupiter, the giver of luck, is just it's a standout time for you. And it's going to be a standout year for you too, 2020. Holy Spirit, bring us more messages for the Virgo Collective in love and life path. Wouldn't that be great? Ooh, oh, oh, look at Flipper. A Flipper and the Lovers. Two of Swords and the Lovers. You guys, make a decision. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Did I just say true love is coming? It's coming. Okay. I mean, it's like Capricorn, isn't that? That's also an earth sign. I mean, it's like your sister sign. It's a standout time for you, please. I even feel that if you're in relationships or just dating, it's going to go to the next level. Or that twin flame that's ghosted you and you finally gave up on, maybe, maybe shoot out a little text and give it a shot. Over the holidays, believe me, my twin flame reached out to me last December on Christmas Day. So you never know, uh, and that's gonna be an, a, a big breakthrough for you on that day, okay? So get out, have some social fun. It's gonna be like it's something you never expected, something very exciting. But take off the blindfolds, unblock your heart, get ready for new love, new love, new love. It's coming in. Magician was on the bottom of the deck at that time, so, you know, Put out your affirmations and visualizations. Don't give up on you. Look, I'm 60. You know, we got a long way to go, kids. We live longer. And I know people in their 70s who are still very passionate. I know that probably freaks you out, but it's true. Okay. 
All right, my divine souls, Virgo. Hey, I have an old boyfriend who's a Virgo, and he just turned 72. Um, but wow, we I love Virgos. <laughs> How can I say I'm a Scorpio, you know? Ooh, passion, passion. Okay, what, what? No, 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 wait a minute. <sighs> Holy Spirit, bring in only white light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need to focus. Virgo, what's coming in for Virgo in love? What is it that they need to know? Help me, Odin, to under... Oh my God, Ten of Cups. Woohoo! So not only is it going to be passionate love, it's going to be emotional love. I also see sisters getting together, family, of course, it's the holidays, but I think you may be receiving some good news from somebody in your family. Maybe somebody's getting married or what's up with that? The five of pentacles. Okay, you guys have been in the out in the cold, but the light is shining in the church. Maybe it's time to go to church and listen to some Christmas carols. Because you're coming out of that, I know for sure. Yeah, if you felt out in the cold with somebody, give it another shot. Because I'm seeing that under the Two of Swords, like, wait a minute. I don't want to. Get out, you guys. Get out, because the passion is on its way. Ace of Wands. New beginning new start we always have a fresh start and this one looks like it's gonna be pretty special and you know me I don't always say that you guys I tell you the good the bad the ugly so if you want a private reading uh, about yourself your person what's happening for you in 2020 predictions I'm doing $17 for two questions 24 for four and a video 30 minutes long for 44 but just email me all the information's below thank you so much all my beautiful clients thank you thank you thank you I've never had a bad reading oh look at that the death card I mean I've had a, you know I had to tell people the truth but I also use my doubt my pendulum for yes and no answers never lies never lies I can even tell you if you're having a boy or a girl okay the death card. This is going to be, I don't know why I'm going to say this, a lucky break. Uh, so, <laughs> something unexpected. Death and rebirth. Wasn't I saying that? You know, we always have the light and the dark, the duality. Keep your eyes open. Take the blindfold off. Open your heart. Get out. Go to social events, please. I know you guys like to hermit a little bit, but this is the season for joy, happiness, and you deserve it, right? I mean, your fifth house of true love, please. Oh, the hangman, okay? Your spirituality is increasing. Right after the death card, I think that was the same thing Gemini got. Or was it Pisces? Yeah, Pisces. In the bottom of the deck, I see the Knight of Cups have to show you that love offer coming in. What else is coming in for Virgo for December 2019? Whew, 2020 is going to be huge love month for you. I wonder what's going to happen when everybody falls in love. Are they going to look at love readings anymore? <laughs> what is going to happen? You know, everything evolves and changes. Twin flames are coming into union, I feel. A lot of cards, but I'm going to take them. I'm feeling it. Oh, yes, there's Lady Venus. True love. She knows her worth. With the vessel and the Holy Grail. Yeah, I'm thinking of Mother Mary and also Mary Magdalene. You know, if any of you ladies out there uh, wanting to get pregnant, I think 2020 is going to be the year you're getting pregnant. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune. I see this as the womb as well. It's uh, I'm, I don't normally say that, guys, but I'm feeling if there's any of you out, ladies out there that want to get pregnant or you gentlemen that um, are looking for love 
and want to find that perfect Venus, get out there because look at this. Come on, divine love and union. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Passion, the Phallic Symbol. Oh, look at that together. Ooh. So, if you don't want to get pregnant, be careful because this is looking like some passion that is, it's like somebody's going to raise your Kundalini. You're going to have an awakening. That is that cosmic gateway with Horus talking about that it is time you're moving into the fifth dimension yeah venus and then we have the seven of wands standing up for yourself knowing that this is the path you want to take not letting anybody get in your way of course you're going to be kind and gentle and loving but you know if there's a message out there for somebody uh, if, if you're dating somebody from another um ethnicity or religion and your parents are upset about it don't worry stand up for yourself true love is not easy so i i married an iranian man um i still have an affinity to the persian people i feel bad what's happening in that country and i hope that they can uh the ayatollahs can awaken and get that place together they're so smart and so much opportunity but they're cut off from the rest of the world we want to come to a world of peace and love and prosperity. We have to all work together. All right, my Virgos, any other last messages? And then I'm going to pull a romance angel and an oracle because it looks to me like you need to just start looking at your calendar and get out there. I did see um, the Four of Cups. Or was it the Five of Cups that flipped over and... Um, the sun on the bottom so don't don't stay home don't cry over spilled milk don't let go of the lost love open your heart heal it forgive and let go because new things are coming in I promise you I really do Holy Spirit give us the final message Wow okay well, that's just too many. You guys, I'm going to grab a Romance Angel card. Romance Angels, Archangel Shemuel, bring Virgo the message that they need for December to help them see that spirit has their back and that true love is possible no matter what your age or your circumstances. Vibe high. <laughs> honeymoon so this new love is going to bring you to new heights you're going to be traveling um you're probably going to get married to this person in 2020 or get proposed to so my divine souls i send you all my love and light and blessings please like and subscribe and i will always be here for you leave me any messages below i always reply ciao bella and namaste happy holidays